Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to get the best BenQ XL2411 P settings and it's going to also lower your input lag. So the first thing you want to do is you want to tap you know, your settings in the BenQ monitor and then you want to go all the way down to the system setting all the way here. And then what you want to do is you want to reset it to like the default. So in this case, I'm not going to do it, but what you want to do is you want to go up and then you want to press yes. And then after that, you want to go to picture and then I'm just going to go through all the settings. So for the blue light, it's zero. Black EQ is 12. Color temperature is user mode. Hue is 50. Color vibrance is 14. Reset color is no. AMA is high. The reason the AMA is high is because it's like the default value. And if you like put it on premium, like the consistency is not as good as high. Well, so like if you want to get a more stable input delay and like the lowest possible one, the high is the best option. Instant mode on, sharpness five, gamma one. Uh, don't mess with this. Volume, you want that at 30. So if you're on PC, you're gonna want your volume at 30 because in the Windows 10, the default volume setting is 30. And if you start like messing around with the volume, it's gonna mess with the input delay too. So if you keep the default, it will just not process the extra, like it would not memorize your volume and then process that. So if, it, if you keep it default, it'll stay on a lower input lag. For system, you want this on whatever you're on, DisplayPort or HDMI. So if you're on PC and you're running over 60 Hertz, then probably DisplayPort. Um, OSD settings, so you don't have to worry about this. Yeah, language, English, display time 15. So this should be the default. OSD lock, that's just if you wanna like lock the settings. Picture mode, that's like the default too. Custom key two, color vibrance. Yeah, so these are like the default custom keys. So you don't have to worry about these. Auto power off, off, DDC slash CI. I don't really know what that is, but I tested that before and you want that on. HDMI auto switch, you also want this off. Resolution notice off. So what this is, is that it's like a little pop-up that comes in the middle of the side of your screen that shows you what your resolution is every time you change your settings. So if you turn this off, it just won't have to process that. So that would just lower your input lag as well. Uh, information, that's just, you know, the model of the monitor and then reset all. Oh yeah, so that's what you do at the beginning, but yeah, that's pretty much it.